Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so this is an energy of conflict leading to defeat. It's like an energy of somebody here wants to win at all costs, but they are very driven by their ego. And it's almost like a hollow victory. So in this, these kinds of circumstances, I'm seeing someone is, it's almost like things have gone too far and it doesn't matter how things play out. So it's almost like it's a lose-lose situation here. There's a lot of conflict, there's drama, there's game playing, and it's it's all for, you know, it's, it's, it's all just to satisfy the ego. It's almost like it's a it's a situation that's not worth it. And um, someone here is choosing to drop their sword here, to bow out gracefully from this. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Judgment card, and this is Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Next, we have the Six of Cups, Water energy. And finally, we have the Four of Pentacles, Earth energy. So you could have felt defeated by this person. There's just this energy of you having withdrawn from this. There's a lot of conflict in the situation and it's almost like you may have felt like it wasn't worth it. Um, but this is definitely someone who made you feel defeated in some way. They may have taken things too far. Communication was very difficult with this person. Um, however, there's with the Six of Cups, it's like this person could be someone from your past. Because it does look like they're returning from your past with the Six of Cups here and the Judgment card. And this is someone who's coming back wanting to have a second chance. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles, which is an energy of choosing not to let go. So this person hasn't let you go. Um, this person, I, I do see them wanting, it's like they want your affection. They want you to feel for them with the Six of Cups. They want you to hold them in some sort of, they, they want you, it's almost like they want you to remember some sort of um, attachment that you have for them, like to remember that they, that they are sweet in some way or to remember the good times because we are seeing someone who's making a return, but you may still associate this person with conflict because this is someone who things could have ended on um, a nasty note because at the Five of Swords, it's, it's like game playing, fighting, arguing, not seeing eye to eye. And this person is definitely wanting to reconnect with you um, from a place of emotion this time. And they they are thinking about you a lot. Um, we are seeing with the judgment card, they are coming your way and speaking their truth, some sort of truth they want to um, admit to you. Um, but this is definitely with the in intentions of having a second chance because this person um, believe it or not, they still hold you dearly to their heart. They, this person never lets you go. They have um, feelings for you. They still do. Um, but this is the kind of person who at times their ego can get the better of them. Or when they were dealing with you, that happened. They let their ego get the best of them and it led to some sort of defeat. Um, but they are making some sort of return to you. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Sagittarius.
Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of a renewal in love, a new beginning in love. Someone wants to start over with you. Someone still has care for you. They want to give you their cup. Um, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Um, Sagittarius. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy. Next, you have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy. And finally, we have the Devil in the reverse, and this is Capricorn energy, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so with the Three of Swords in the reverse, it's again that energy of wanting to um, heal a situation with you. They want a second chance. They want to mend something that was broken. You know, this is someone who wants to regain your trust, your affection, your care. They want to make sure that it's almost like they want to see that you still care about them as well. So they're making a return back to you. They have thought about this with the Two of Wands. And um, if this is someone who there's distance, they, they could be traveling towards you um, or they this is just their them really thinking or planning the next steps here because this is not something that's impulsive this is someone whose intention be coming your way and they do have that objective of having a new beginning with you with the devil we do see um this could be someone who you had a bit of a toxic attachment with um there could have been a lot of again ego fear doubts insecurity but with the in the reverse this person could be coming towards you you know expressing a desire to have something more real something more heartfelt and sincere and less material or lustful um it's like they they, they want to lead with the fact that they are coming towards you with love so it's like this is someone who wants a second chance and that's what they're going to express first that they want um that they're coming from a good place and that you know they've released something something um like addictions attachments ego um um you know whatever it is that was keeping them in a very low vibration because we do see this as someone who was conflictual um they've released some bad habits okay so this they do want to get closer to you though with the devil in the reverse and we're also seeing this as someone who you may have released them in some way yourself but they're coming back okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So the card says balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces okay so you're being advised to make a decision using both um don't just rely on spirituality but also think about if is it practically going to work out um this could be someone where there could have been some level of incompatibility so there is this energy of needing to really sit on this decision before because you're going to have to make a decision with the judgment card this is someone who's wanting a chance it's almost like they're putting the ball in your court to make that decision and with this energy it's it's almost like just a reminder to balance spirituality and practicality this with the six of cups this could be someone where there is this it's a almost like a past a past life connection it feels like a strong intense pull a tie here there's something karmic about this situation so you may have to sit on this meditate and contemplate on this before making any um decision okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius So the card says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so again this person is coming back to you very soon wanting that second chance and you need to there is this energy of needing to know what you want so there's a clearly decide um you will be having to make some sort of decision when it comes to this person okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius So the card says lilac first emotions of love love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat okay so 
but this energy is this is speaking of the first time you met or the first feelings that you had that you know that beginning stage with the first emotions of love and we also have the six of cups this person is going to try to play on that it's almost like they want you to remember the first emotions of love they want you to remember the good times the beginning before all of the drama came before the conflicts the chaos or the incompatibilities became evident this person is going to want you to remember that and it's like you're being reminded that um you can't get the first emotions of love again you know if you want this love to to grow you just have to nurture it from where it is um but the you know it's like the the beginning stages are you know in the past now and just focus on how you see this person now there's almost this energy of looking clearly at the situation for what it is now okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius